Here is your weekly FLSA update for the week of April 10th through April 13th. So which industries had FLSA violations this past week based on the investigations? Convenience stores, hospitality or hotel, healthcare or hospital, and a restaurant. How many employees were affected? Well, we saw healthcare had 13 employees, restaurants had 12, hospitality six, and convenience stores had 11 employees. So what exactly did they do? Well, the convenience store basically paid straight time for all hours worked, which resulted in them failing to pay overtime for all hours worked over 40 in a work week. The hospitality or the hotel group they willfully fail to pay at least federal minimum wage, as well as overtime rates, which is at least time and a half for all hours worked over 40 in a work week. And because of their willful nature, which resulted in them doing this on purpose, they were charged a $21,658 civil money penalty. But this was not just for the FLSA violations. This also included the child labor law violations. The healthcare company actually auto deducted a 30 minute lunch meal period from the workers that had this issue, which resulted in them failing to pay for all hours worked when the workers did not take a lunch break. So clearly they didn't pay for things like straight time hours and also overtime. The restaurant, believe it or not, was a Taco Bell. This general manager actually went in there and deducted time from the employee's time cards on purpose before sending off for payroll. So for sure, definitely violated minimum wage and overtime laws based on these deductions. So how much was paid in back wages and liquidated damages? Well, the convenience stores we can see had $77,000 plus. Hospitality saw 54,000. Healthcare company saw 46,000 and restaurants saw 22,000. So quite a big chunk of change being paid right back to those employees. So the average payout per person for convenience stores, so this is including both the back wages and the liquidated damages, which is an equal amount of wages owed back to the person. So you could definitely see that these workers who worked at the convenience store got a pretty big check. Hospitality coming almost at 10,000, healthcare coming in almost four, and restaurants coming almost at $2,000 a person. So what in the heck did we learn? Well, get a timekeeping system that automatically pays the appropriate minimum wage and over time without manipulation. Lord help us if people have to sit here and manually keep this all the time. Make it to where it happens automatically. And for goodness sakes, turn off the auto lunch breaks and train your managers what to do if the employee works through lunch, if you're going to keep it. And of course, train your darn managers not to adjust time cards. There's no reason for them to go in there and adjust this. Make sure you pay employees for all hours worked. So thanks guys for watching this weekly update on FLSA. Love for you to like and subscribe on the video. Y'all take care. Talk to you next week.